When you're driving the Ford Ranger Raptor, every dirt road you casually pass becomes a dare. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. That said, the reason you can is in the name. It's a Raptor. It's built for this. It wants to go off-road and it wants to do it fast. I found that this thinking very quickly changes why would I into why wouldn't I. There are very few vehicles I would be genuinely comfortable doing something like this with a full-blown off-road review, driving on a bumpy dirt road while I'm talking to you. But the Ford Ranger Raptor sits way up on the list for vehicles that I'm perfectly fine and perfectly comfortable doing it with. And when you start digging into the specs, it's not very suspicious as to why, right? Yes, it's four-wheel drive and yes, it has 400 horsepower courtesy of its three liter twin turbocharged V6. But most importantly, it's got Fox live valve suspension and 33 inch BF Goodrich off-road all-terrain tires from the factory. So when you start running into big bumps that for me look like the end of the world because I daily drive a Fiesta ST, even if you think you're going a little bit too fast for them in the Ranger Raptor, you'll zoom right over top of them and wonder if you even hit a bump at all. It's safe to assume that most Ranger Raptor owners aren't going to drive their trucks like this, but if you are on the fence about potentially buying a Ranger Raptor because you want to have the option to do some ridiculously fun off-road stuff like this, it's hard to imagine recommending anything else. It's so unbelievably durable. In 2022, Ford took a Ranger Raptor to the Baja 1000. Ever heard of her? You know, one of the most treacherous off-road races on the planet where nearly half of the competitors who enter don't finish. Not only did the Ranger Raptor win first place in the stock class at the Baja 1000, they then proceeded to drive it back to the home base in Riverside, California from Mexico where the Baja race was taking place. If you're concerned about long-term reliability or dependability when you're beating on it, uh, I don't know if there's anything that makes a better case for it than that. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, it's quite fast on concrete with 400 horsepower. However, when you put it on dirt, it becomes scary fast. Yes, it's a pretty small truck, but you're still sitting very high up and it's still, you know, bumpy loose suspension. It's not like what I would be used to in a performance car suspension. Of course, this is oriented for off-road performance, but it's unbelievable. And I can tell you that so far in this video on this dirt road, I haven't gone above about like 45. But if you had asked me how fast I was going before I looked at the speedometer, I would have told you probably like 90. This thing is so rewarding and fun off-road, and you don't even have to be going crazy, crazy fast to enjoy it. Now, I'm not much for rock crawling. This is more my speed. I'm a big rally fan, a big Baja fan, Mint 400 and stuff like that. And this thing is just so cool. In my opinion, and this might be an unpopular one, the coolest of the Raptor lineup. There's just something very nice about the footprint of the Ranger Raptor. It's still big and it's still intimidating-esque. I'm six foot three, I can't see over the top of it. However, it's thinner than the Bronco Raptor. It's thinner than the F-150 Raptor. It's shorter 
than the F-150 Raptors. So for narrow trails like this one, no problem. You can blitz through there 25, 30 miles an hour, not have to worry about catching plants and trees and everything on the sides, messing up your paint or whatever else. This thing is an unbelievable amount of fun. What might just be the craziest part about me finding the Ranger Raptor to be the most fun to drive is that it is also the cheapest way you can get yourself into a Ford product that has the word Raptor on it, brand new by miles and i mean miles the ford f-150 raptor starts at over eighty thousand dollars the ford bronco raptor starts at ninety thousand dollars but this ranger raptor as tested that i am having the absolute time of my life driving in the dirt right now has a price tag of fifty nine thousand four hundred fifty dollars comparatively you're getting an insane amount of performance for the money especially compared to the bronco raptor which shares the three liter twin turbo v6 you're really not stepping down on power that much comparatively considering the bronco raptor has 418 horsepower so for saving yourself 30 grand and being much more narrow and much more i'll say it i'll say much more nimble off-road it's really hard not to just want this guy the Bronco does, of course, have a lot more usable space, and the five-foot bed on the Ranger Raptor may not fulfill all the truck duties you could ever want it to, but it will do more than most truck owners will actually ever do. If you really need the cargo space, great news. Take that $30,000 you saved and buy yourself an enclosed trailer because the Ranger Raptor can pull 5,500 pounds, which, again, is more than most truck people ever actually do. And I don't need your comments if you say, oh, I work, yeah, I pull a 12,000 pound trailer with my F-250, let's see the Ranger do that. You know I'm not talking about you, all right? So save it, there's no reason. We can talk about fuel economy if you want. I don't know why you would want to. Yes, the EPA ratings are abysmal. It's like 18 highway, 15 city. But I just got done having so much fun playing there with the Ranger Raptor that I don't care to look it up I don't care to see how much gas I used. I'll just go to the gas station and grin and bear it knowing how much fun I just had. The Ranger Raptor rides, well, like a truck. It's got the signature pillowy ride that you find on the F-150 and Bronco Raptor, so it's not like driving a classic, real stiff towing set of suspension truck. The adjustable suspension allows you to decide how much give you want regardless of the drive mode too, so if you want sport suspension stiffness in standard driving mode, or Baja suspension stiffness in slippery mode, or whatever else, go right ahead. The same can be done with exhaust, so if you want loud Baja exhaust while you drive around the city because you're an attention-seeking twit, you can do that too. Just remember, the dash says for off-road use only when you enable that exhaust, so Ford's hands are free and clear of you making that decision. Don't try and pin it on the blue oval when you get pulled over. All jokes aside, I managed to get the Ranger Raptor to average 21 mpg over the course of a 150 mile road trip at an average speed of just over 70 miles an hour. It's not too bad considering what we're working with here, and overall, for standard city, driving the Ranger Raptor drives pretty much exactly how you'd expect an off-road ready truck to drive. The benefit, of course, is that the Ranger Raptor's smaller footprint compared to the other Raptor family members gives an advantage in parking lots, tight roads, and those pesky dogleg McDonald's drive throughs Long story short, just like with virtually every truck, you can daily drive it just fine as long as you don't care about how much money you're blowing on gas. That's about all I can say for driving under normal conditions because I had a lot more fun driving it off-road. And just like that, my time with the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor has come to an end. And while generally with cool press cars, I am a little bit sad to give them back, I'm really feeling it with this thing. I truly can't describe how much fun this is. I've put it into the best words I possibly can, but the best way to really experience how awesome this thing is to drive is to drive one. I wish I could help you there but I can't. Overall though, I do not hesitate to say that this is my favorite Raptor product that Ford offers now. It's got all of the good packed in a nice little package that makes it capable and nimble. You can take it anywhere and even manages what I'll call passable fuel economy or 
good fuel economy for something with 33 inch tires. My name is Braden Carlson. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat at BigB1011, but most importantly, you can find my articles online at RevReflection.com. That is my website, so please bookmark it and do whatever else and go check out the articles I'm planning on writing a bunch of stuff here soon for the website. In the meantime, feel free to check out my other reviews and project videos. If you're new here, press the subscribe button and press like on the video, please. It helps a lot more than you might think. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my last few hours with the Ranger Raptor and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.